area, so. No, that's that's a really dumb. <laughs> Hi, folks. I'm Tom Vassell. <laughs> I'm Joy Evans. Well, now we know. I'm Camilla. I'm Z Garcia. Don't we usually go this way? Oh, we switched ways. We did. Oh, geez. I was just very quick with my name. Go ahead. Let's I'm, do it the other way. No, we already finished. You're Sorry. right. You're I, right. I, I, I'm... We already finished. You <laughs> okay. Welcome back to Crowd Surfing. April Fools. Uh, <laughs> we'll take a look at projects. Uh, yes. The most delayed April Fools joke. <laughs> Which we did not make a joke, though. You, you, you. We're not so great at so it. Somebody messed up and is trying to play it off as a joke. Exactly. April Fools. Anywho, <laughs> we'll take a look at projects on Kickstarter, GameFound, and BackerKit ending in the next week or so. Now, we've had some amazing stuff over the past couple weeks. So It's true. They're, the last two have been impeccable. The roller Fire, coaster's coming down the hill a little. It's not terrible, but, well, you'll see in just a bit. Mm -hmm. But before we jump into that, you want to hear about pins? Our show is sponsored by BackerKit. Take a look at this. Okay, today we're talking about a project on Backer Kit called Pintopia. So this is Pintopia. Last year they ran Pintopia 2023, and this is another joint project here. So this is something that happens on Backer Kit where a lot of different people get together. If you look here, all these different pins here are different projects. And so, for example, this one here, Boba Majong Pintopia, which is made by people who make board games. And so you want pins from them. So you go down here and look. I can get this Sunrise Cherry, which is a really beautiful pin. And the more projects you back, you can get free pins from some of the projects. Let's take a look at this one here, Cartoon Creepies. And this just has weird cartoon creepy little guys and weird things. Uh, but let's see. We got um, Demon Jellies. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff that you can find here. Uh, here's Cthulhu. Here we have, uh, this one here is just wiener dogs. And if you like wiener dogs, there's a whole bunch. You get racers and different colors. And so if you look here at the top, you'll see that there's a lot of different projects. Actually, it's at the, there, there's, most of these projects have already funded. It's a limited time event. But if you like pins, this is what you're going to want to do. I might look at this and go, hey, I want these doggies from this animation show. Or you might want dragons. There's one here that's um, a bunch of dragons um, and or cats or here endangered animal stamps. So there's a lot of different pins. Definitely check it out. This is Pentopia 2. It's going until April 18th and it's on Backer Kit right now. <laughs> Pentopia 2! <laughs> Dos. All right, let's just jump right into it. We got a bunch of projects to take a look at. We're going to start with Mars Expedition Soul 43. Soul 43. This is a one to two player logic board game. This one has been popping up all over my Facebook. Hmm. That's not seeming to help it. It's only at what ten thousand. But well, it looks very educational. That's part of it. It I does, think. doesn't it? Yeah. And they lean into that. I'm not saying that it seems that way, and they're not trying to make it seem that way. They they're purposely leaning into it. But those, you know, games that put that foot forward, I don't find to be. As engaging for me, and or I, I don't see myself enjoying them as much. You know, it's like, oh, great, it's for good. You know, it, it'll help your IQ, and I'm like, I, no, thanks. Yeah, my IQ is rock, rock solid as it as it is. Well, no, it's your... definitely like it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. I mean, they're very forward with that too. So between kind of the educational then too, it's like, oh, it's gonna be super puzzly, and it's like that's true. Like it's more complicated the more you go, and I'm like, wee, you know, mm -hmm. like, reminds me of those apps that like, can you solve this in Ten moves or nine right, moves yeah. or eight moves, and it's like okay, but I can solve it, so I'm fine. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I tend to like puzzle type things like this. There's a lot of them. Think Fun does them. Yes. But they're usually just a few things. This, mm -hmm. I'm I'm not convinced with the cards full of text. Now that just might be flavor text. We'll see. So, meh, maybe. How about a painting handle for miniature painting? This is doing really well. I am curious to see what you think about this because this, I feel like, is a solution in search of a problem. No, you know? these are huge, like painting handles and stuff. Oh, I, I, I love painting handles, but as far as a swiveling, I just never I think really a lot needed of them that. Swivel. See, Can't I just never. Can't you just 
Well, it's molded to your hand, so if you're holding it sideways, for example, it's no longer ergonomic. I guess we use a hot sauce like bottle, so it's different. You just kind of like roll it. Spices, right, but that's you know, what this like. is. It's like so that it actually fits in the palm of your hand, but you still roll it. Like I use medicine bottles too, and I can roll them because they're round. This isn't right. round. You can actually hold it and then just, you know. Um, it's a lot of little fine movements too. So I've always been really intrigued by this. I know Game Envy just they're known for them as well. They just had it on their Kickstarter last week. Um, I've just never used one, so I can't really speak to it. I'm super. It's one of those you say a solution to something that's not a problem. Yeah. It's like I feel bad that my medicine bottles are working fine. It's like I want to try that's one of these, but I can't justify jumping into it when my medicine bottles are not broken. That's where I was. I bought Alex all these like these types of things. But then she'd have to take the mini and put it on there on the rubber bands and do it. Ended up just rubber picking them up bands. and painting it. Well, the one that we had, you put it under the band so it sticks on top of the. Oh, okay. Yeah. But then she just picked it up and. How do you base it? it. Huh, whatever. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. <coughs> so she just picks up the mini and paints it? Yeah, or if, if oh, it's something that she needs to. Yeah, actually, that's if she, crazy. But if she needs to get the feet and stuff, she'll put it on the hot sauce bottle and then be able to go under it. Hot but she sauce doesn't, bottle. That's her version of your medicine box. But then you get like uh, your hand oils on it, then the pain ache. doesn't stick. And, oh, yeah, I can't. She's an animal. No. Jeez. Alex, you're an animal. <laughs> anyway, what this looks that? interesting. I will say that this. so you, much worse than it It is. really does. No. Yeah, that's funny. I will say this. You just brought up the, uh, the Game Envy. Uh-huh. These guys also have a lamp on here. Oh. And it is oh. several hundreds of dollars more than the that's one Game Envy had, one for like 80 bucks. This is like yeah. 260 Really? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Those, those painting lamps are ridiculously they expensive. Are. So when Game Envy, I feel like now I'm like preaching for Game Envy here. Sorry, this company. But it's like when they have it for what, $82 oh. or something? I'm like, yeah. I that's thought you guys were talking about Game Envy. I'm like, I don't. I who, what, are you, what are you being envious of? Um, I was confused. No, oh, it's a company no. like this it's, lamp yeah. right here looks cool, but it's, it's a lot of money, man. You can buy lamps float. like that off Amazon if you look for them. I mean, those are come yeah. from places you don't know how to I also pronounce. like that the, the Game Envy one was, I guess, horizontal. It just wasn't anywhere, just like the one really. thing. But anyway, so yeah, no, I really. Um, Ohio. Uh, there's your guy though. There's Duncan Rhodes. Duncan he, Rhodes. He what? I mean, what? What do you say now? Two thin coats. <laughs> I'm a painter, guys. That's, that's your guy right there. <laughs> no, I really want to try these. I want to try these and the Game Envy ones. I just can't justify jumping I, off until I yeah. have a chance to. I'll say this. I do worry about this. The the handle that you can <laughs> rotate the whole thing and isn't as ergonomic, I think I'd be okay with. I am worried about this kind of thing because you just swivel it with your, your finger, trigger finger yeah. and your thumb. I do worry if you're painting, like if that will, with usage, loosen up. I was wondering about that. I know the, okay, well, I'm not going to keep talking about Game Envy. Never mind. I know how that one works. I don't know how this uh, one so works. So I worry. I worry about that. <laughs> yeah, I worry about I that agree. sort of. It's so, oh, it's great while it's brand new and you can spin it and put it at any angle you want. Yeah. But after a while, yeah. what <clears> happens, <throat> you know? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know these. I, I, maybe one day I'll splurge and, Cheap and price. buy one. Twenty bucks is not, or twenty pounds is not bad. No. Twenty euros. Sorry. For one? No. Yeah, for one, but you get the five. You get the different handles. It's you have to. You'd have to oh. move the mini a lot because you rarely are painting that few. Yeah, I'm typically painting at least three. That's a problem. One's like drying. No, I'm one's drying while you're painting the next, and so you. Painting. you paint <laughs> I, paint, I, I only paint <laughs> in batches of twenty or more. Z paints zombies. That's it. All right. Requiem, Blood. Downfall of Magics. This is from the same people who make Black Rose Wars. And Nova. And Nova Atis, a game we just reviewed. Yes, you we did. did. Um, oh, and did this company it. doesn't believe. This is, they, they follow, this company, honestly, with their lore and stuff, could switch with Awakened Realms, and I don't think I would notice. Well, I yes. could see that, Like, if, yeah. you, if you said no. Awakened Realms made this game, I would go, yeah. It kind of looks like an it Awakened really Realms It really does, especially that photo right there. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. I wonder yeah. if they prioritize minis. <laughs> this is, okay, so I they start backwards this time, by the way, for pledges. They're like, the big one. This is what you should get. Okay, fine. How about this? No? Okay, this. About that? Well, you just want the base game? Figure it out. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. So anyhow, they're still like talking about all the stuff. You want to see the game? We'll get there eventually. <coughs> Who Here's cares? all the stuff you get. There's miniatures, okay? Yeah, I don't know. This one definitely gave me that feeling of like it's actual miniature game. Miniatures game, not miniatures yeah. game. You know, another like game with miniatures. Um, 
the lore, the world being spooky and dark. Even the even the title, Requiem, something of something. I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm I, I, that fatigue. I'm feeling that fatigue a little bit of all these games. Maybe it's because I have one set up in there right now that is, again, I'm trying to figure out how everything even works or moves. But but yeah, it's, it, that fatigue is setting in. I think this is the same universe as Nova it is. That's what it I looks like. It so. enters into something that there's a crossover expansion pack that you can get. I think they say in the title it's the same wor world as that and Black Rose. I haven't okay. played Black Rose. Or something Rose. like that. Yeah, it's so like same know. same universe. It says. Black Rose was like all magic though. The, the Nova Adis is a lot of like mundane stuff and then you, magic yeah. starts showing up. There's one minion here where the girl has like a face in the back of her head and in her hair and stuff. But they got some cool minis in here. Oh, well, the minis look good. Yeah. I think it's a neat bunch of miniatures, neat bunch of world building. I'm just not sure I can put my finger and be like, if you quickly showed me pictures from this or an, an another one, I'd be like, I, I can't tell the difference. No. Yeah, I don't think so. I yeah, think it's another... Mechanically, I am. I do think it's fun. Ooh, yeah, that's it. Go back at it. Mechanically, you said, oh, look at that. That's a little face. Yeah, face in the back. Oh, that's the back, I see. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You think mechanically this looks good? I think mechanically, I like, uh, well, I'm such a huge fan of like leveling up and that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I think that the way they're incorporating simultaneous turns in something like this, you know, I think like in O Sworn right now, where it's like, okay, I go, then you go, then you, I mean, sometimes yeah. you have a lot of turns between. And so compared to what we just played in here, um, Spark Riders this morning, mm -hmm. I really like that simultaneous play where it's like, I could do something in there. Oh, meanwhile, you do that over there, so I can drop a token off and still keep going on my movement to do this. I like that little bit free form in these cooperative games. I think open it up a little bit mm -hmm. um, and kind of encourage that cooperation and and discussion. That's interesting. I'm not a fan of that, actually. Really? Okay. I like it a lot. I don't like it normally. I don't like it because I think it opens up a lot of uh, opportunities for m Mistakes? messy, like for messiness, you know yeah. what I mean? Hmm. Huh. For bad design, um, Tendencies. This page is never ending. That's all just. I'm scrolling forever. No, look where you are. You're about two thirds only. What on earth? The next stretch goes. You get awakened realms as well. Okay, look how far I went. I'm finally. Yeah, into gameplay. Come on. Gameplay. It does yeah. have tabs on the side though. Oh, which have we seen it yet? Have you seen that Kickstarter now has like little pictures beside? Yeah. Tabs? I was like that. That threw me off. Beside what? So basically. Beside the. Oh, Their gameplay section is really short, by the way. Yeah. Character it's level cards. It's not important. Simultaneous <laughs> actions. Discovery books. Boss fight. Done. I'm with you, Joe. It's like, it seems like it's not important. No. They're like, look at this world. Look at how grimdark this is. Look at the miniatures. There's a game in here also, but look at the minis. <laughs> look, you could paint this. You could get 12 boxes. Name, That's 15. I'm like, all right, but what is it? Right. Miniatures is so what So they actually it is. have an order wow. of the games on their timeline. Okay, yeah, so they oh, are. DEI is also in this timeline? That's like the oh. future. But again, that's probably after. I wonder if you can see some of those roots if you know the lore, if you see it in it. Wow. That's cool, like post, I post think apocalypse they or something. I just made that up. I played <laughs> DEI. It's a sci fi game in the future. I didn't notice any crossover. Like Really? Like, I didn't we play were, it, so I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't even fit like, wow. That's fine. I mean, you can say it's the same universe. It's not like today we're doing stuff that people were doing a thousand years ago. Sure. Mm -hmm. You could pick Star Wars and say it's the future of something else, you know, and how would you That's know? That's true. All right. <laughs> Armello. Armello. This board one. game. This is the, the video game. Have you right, guys yeah. played this video game? No, no but I none of us had heard of it. it. I haven't even heard of it. I spent far too long on the video games website because it looked good. What's the system? Everything. It's got oh. Switch, PlayStation, it's PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. He's playing on a Blackberry. Oh, uh, yes. I didn't know it was on Steam. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is yeah, it's on Steam on and on. all the big platforms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it's, it's an, IO, an iOS thing too. I think so. Yeah, oh, it's wow. everywhere. That's a good price. Like, I mean, yeah. four hundred fifty for everything included. I thought that was interesting. That it's a lower price. Now point. it's based on a video game made from a company I never heard before. That I, I'm always concerned about. But the cards look. And reasonable. The, the designer is one of the designers of D and D four E, which is one no one talks about, which is good and bad. 
<laughs> so isn't 4e considered the worst D and D? Pretty much. But they don't mention that on here. Well, D and D, the first one, I guess, is the worst one. But yeah, so why is D and D? I don't know D and D that well. Uh, I haven't played any RPG setting that it, that it has been a good campaign. So. <laughs> that is not what I said. <laughs> I'm speaking. Oh I am God. speaking. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, I'm stop. I'm being dumb. What is what's D and D fourth? Why why D &D is it fourth known? D and D fourth basically took. The role playing and turn it into a miniatures game. Yeah, Ooh, like combat took so long in fourth edition. Got it. So it was less role play. Like <laughs> tell me, it gave more structure to the to the rules. Is that right? It's more like a board game. Yeah, honestly. it's more like a board game. I'm fantastic. sold. What? I love, I love 4E, honestly. What? So like, that's me. Sounds I love like board the games. Okay, I'm backing perfect this. Perfect crossover. Yeah, I'm super happy. This, this is fourth one, edition. The more so, kind of like the <laughs> last, the last one y'all were talking about, where the gameplay didn't seem really prioritized. The more I went through this, the more I felt like I might need to understand the video game to get this yeah. gameplay. Um, it definitely seemed like you know the IP, you love it. Here's a board game. You know what we're talking about. If you know, you know. And I'm like, I, I, I don't know. I, don't I know. just googled armor. Or armadillo, or whatever it's right. called. Yeah, yeah, I'm you know? Even from the front, the first video, I could tell this got some money behind. It. As far as the animation and the, yeah, it just looked. It didn't look not made for Kickstarter as bad, but this looked really good. The animation in it. So I, I like their this upgrade system I love that here, upgrade system. and it looks simple compared to yes, which is good, right? I. I don't know. I have hopes for it. I, even though I know nothing about the video game, but I think that's fine. the The graphic design around the outside of the cards looks like a CCG from the nineties. Really? It does. Turn it does. I like that graph. That I, I like that. It, but you it like works. CCGs. I mean, it, yeah. yeah, it ties in. I find it. I'm uh, really tempted by this video game. I might like. It looked. I did the same thing you did, Joe. Yeah. Went to the website and kind of looked at it. Yeah, it kind of looks board gamey. That's the it thing. It does. There is there is hexes. You move through them. I might end up playing it on what's happening. Oh. Oh, because it's iOS, you said. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, or Switch or whatever, oh, you know. Right. I can Switch just now too, yeah. get one of those and mess with it and see see what that's like. Because yeah. this is very interesting. It's really tempting. And the game, taking it outside of the video game uh, comparison, which I don't need to because I don't know anything about it, I think looks good. Mm -hmm. It looks really interesting. I like what's happening. It reminds me a little bit of the games set in the Lands of Galzir universe. It does. A little bit. I hope it, yeah. All right, before we go any farther, let's take a real quick look at Mr. Mark Streed. This spotlight is brought to you by Horror on the Orient Express, the board game, by the authors of Nemesis, Frostpunk, and Destinies. Horror on the Orient Express lures you into the luxurious Orient Express in the 1920s taking you on a dangerous train ride into the realm of dreamlands. Everything is against you, from monsters attacking the train to murderous cults hiding amongst the passengers. Worst of all, an eldritch, bloodthirsty vampire hunting down everything that moves. Can you solve the dark secrets of the Orient Express before time runs out? In this cooperative game, you and the other investigators try to survive on the doomed train. To win, you must hunt out the cultists to stop them from performing a hideous ritual and ensure the train reaches its destination. Each of you controls a character who can develop new skills, gather items, talk to passengers, discover clues, and ultimately decide the train's fate. You may even learn a spell or two. This board game brings the award-winning Call of Cthulhu Horror and Mystery TTRPG into the board gaming world. Special rules, ongoing character development, and awesome play pieces provide a challenging and exciting gaming experience. Your journey on Orient Express will be something to remember. For more information, please check out the campaign, which is now live on Kickstarter. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Cthulhu! All right, we'll get Cthulhu out of your mind because we're back to animals okay. in the River Valley Glassworks. Who played this? You did, right? I it's did. Okay, we were trying to figure out who played you it. You were yeah. there. And Chris and Wendy. Bob, you were there. So this yeah. is a very, very simple game about collecting gems and then you score them based on collecting the same sets and different kinds, two different ways. And the, you have a gem, you discard the gem based on the... The uh, shape of the gem lets you decide which of the tiles you're collecting the gems off of on okay. the river. Um, and then the colors is what matters for scoring. 
And there's a few other, there's some modules and stuff. Very nice production values. Um, very easy game. 20 minutes is I probably like dead on mm -hmm. here. So, wow. Okay. Joe and I, Joe from All Play, we've actually talked about how we have very different taste in games. Oh, I am yeah. not a oh, fan yeah. of their games. I don't think I've played one yet that I like. And it's fine, it's just different taste or whatever. This is the first one that I'm like, oh, this one looks pleasing. I'd give it a try. You can definitely see that it's just abstract, you know, yes. as you're just collecting it. But I was like, still, it's like, cool. Yeah, I'd try this one. There were two things that I really liked about this. Number one, the sliding of the river down there, like the little, that just, so it's rewarding. Very satisfying. It's well, it makes cool. It, it makes right. it puzzly too, right? Because it's what you take, but then you know that's going to be a hole, which is uh, things on the other side are then going to be next to each other, which opens yeah. up your options for the next turn, right? And so it is a little bit of manipulation of that river as well. Okay, fine, I'll take this because it helps here, but also it puts those two next to each other for next turn. Kind of like a... Um, Oh, that Candy Crush kind of thing, you know? Yes. Like, you're not just looking at what you yeah, take, yeah. but what it's going to possibly well, set be, up in the future. Yeah. And then, also the fact that I love this theme of panning for stuff. I don't know why, as a kid, I, everybody did those little panning things. Oh, yeah. Gatlinburg I'm or whatever. Oh, fine gold. Yeah. Just that theme is... Oh, we did it at that... We did at IAPA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. Yeah, it's just... it's. I enjoy that. Yeah, this looks really cute. It, it's... Like I said, it's a very slight game, and it seems that way. I haven't played, but it looks like a very slight game. But, yeah, it seems like it's going to be a really good family game. I think yeah. the, the closest look, I, the vibe. Or a filler. I think, yeah. I think it's closely compared in in process to a Zool. Okay. Oh, I, if you like a Zool, I think you might like this. Okay. I mean, they're different games, but I, they fit in that like same bucket. See, it's the thing. I like a Zool. My wife does not at all. So See, I we, don't either. I think this is not nearly as... Mean, although there is definitely near the end of the game, I'm like, well, I'm not setting you up. I will go out of my way to not set you up. Okay. With what I do. Some this one defense. also sounds shorter than Azul. Azul's not 20 minutes. 20 That's minutes is yeah. crazy. Azul yeah. is just can be way, it overstays its welcome, I think is the biggest thing. Yeah. So. Then look at all those hats the platypus is wearing. Aww. That's a lot of. Oh, that's just an ability you get. So yeah, it's, 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 oh, okay. a, it's a little assistant ability, and I really liked it. It's, it's something I would always play thing, with. Yeah, you don't have to play with that, right? Hmm. All right, AR Vault, augmented reality. Is that what it stands for? No, no it's, it's awake our awakened realms. It <laughs> took me forever to actually put <laughs> it <understand>. together. <laughs> oh, I kept seeing AR Vault, something, something. I'm like, it just looks, it just looks like dice. You know, I, I was thinking awakened realms was AW. I don't know why. Oh, right. Mm. I kept waiting to see, like, when's the app? What app? What are they talking about? I'm like, <laughs> oh, funny. AR is not augmented reality. It's Awakened Realms. So this, this is, is just accoutrement for their games, basically. Dice and miniatures. Or for generic That's RPG it. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Simon has definitely done this before. Mm. Remember they did the, what was that called when Simon did it? I don't think they did this for their own games. Yeah, they did the one where you could get the, the Healy gods and... You get a whole bunch of crap. Remember, they did a, they definitely did a Kickstarter. You get a bunch of crap. They did. It was just their vault. We're opening the vault to sell old stuff. That, that's this not is, this. This is like next level from the Requiem, where it's like you stuck the gameplay on the very bottom. Wake Realms was like, listen, we just took the gameplay off of the page altogether. Yeah, it's just no minis and here. dice. That's this all is it is. Minis. Yeah. What do you think about and that dice. die? That's like. The alien one from from uh, no like this one here with the face he's like, oh the ah! face one yeah. I want to roll that on that that's okay glass I like table. the next one though I like that one that has the alien face in it and the yeah. I guess it looks like Nemesis yeah probably yeah 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 it looks cool they remind me of the ones in Oathsworn the metal ones that you use to count your hit points mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. remind me of those a lot and I like those a lot I think they're yeah. a fun upgrade. Yeah, this is a bunch of... It's actually not doing nearly as well as I thought it might do. I was surprised not, about it, too. Yeah, it's just sort of extra bits and bobs, right? It, they're cool, but... This sounds like something you'd pick up at a convention. Oh, my gosh. Kind of like people come to our booth to get the promos and stuff like that. Right. And they're, oh, they have a booth. Oh, wow, dice for that game. I have Nemesis. Let me grab that. You know, it seems like something like that. Not necessarily that I would kickstart for, but... Um, it is funny, because looking at the amount it raised, I was surprised, because people are like, you know what? I back Awaken Realm for the minis mainly in the game, you know, but I'm like, well, this is actually the minis. So the truth is, you want a game with it, apparently. Mm -hmm. So that was surprised. Because these are good minis, of course. I mean, look at them. Do they replace other mo Like, I guess I didn't understand. I don't know. Or that's... are they just because it also sells it for RPGs? Is this just Awaken Realm says. saying, like, here is some generic, you know, within their world minis for an for RPG? For your D&D, &D. yeah. Yeah, the dice definitely 
definitely take the place. I do. I, I'm, I'm tempted to buy this cursed die set. Okay. Because. They're awesome? No, they changed the size. Because it changes. Like, I'll be like, Joe, you've been cursed. Take this die. It rolls. It has two ones and one 19. I That's like that a lot. good. I, I like, like that. that a lot. But they're yeah. only metal, right? And I hate rolling metal dice. Yeah. Um, and also, I didn't look at how much they cost. Ooh, what's mm. the cost on them? What are the blessed ones? 20 bucks. Just 20, 20, and no one, I'm guessing. They could just, just, if you're blessed, you could also just say, like, oh, if 30 you roll bucks a one, not... it's a 20. You could also just do I that. I they do, but it's saying, like, hey, to have something But they something printed like this, it on cool. there, yeah. I think that'd be cool. You should get those for our RPG, because we definitely do an RPG. Just FYI, you can 3D and print I dice. And I love it. But they are brutally unbalanced. <laughs> I'm thinking about buying these, actually, the blessed and the cursed dice, because they're interesting. How much are they? They're 30 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Metal. Yeah, you can do it. I roll metal dice. That's true. I roll metal dice. Where? Where? On that glass Nine. table that was right next to his Dice Tower West? In my secret dice club that you don't know about. He does have he a also wear sunglasses. Oh, I'm going to keep going here. That's why he wears a hat. Graphic Novel Avengers! Season 5. Yeah. God, I'm really I would be it. more excited about these, and I, I like these a lot. These are good. <clears throat> I just wish they wouldn't stick two Sherlock Holmes in every one. I'm, I'm so over mm. Sherlock Holmes and these graphic novels. Yes. Oh my I know, right? Gosh. Mickey Mouse is not public domain. <laughs> That's Pick true. Could you imagine if one of these was, was Steamboat Steam Willie? Steamboat Willie? Really? Yeah, yeah. This would be off the chart. <laughs> it's just the Sherlock Holmes ones, so they actually show a picture of it. It's just him walking around talking to Watson and looking at stuff. It's not interesting as a graphic novel. Yeah. Here's. But I, look, you just sit there. Oh, eh, I have eh. done none of these, but my daughter's just gotten into those Choose Your Own Adventure books. Has she, oh, you should give she, me the Crusoe crew with her. Well, I need to because this one, first of all, yeah. there's a unicorn that she killed like four times and she stopped reading it because it's like very graphic. It's like the unicorn's dead. She's like, this is horrible. But anyway, this is like <laughs> graphically that. So. Yeah. No, I, I bet she'd like the Crusoe crew. Is that one. this That's series? Fun. No, it's not. The it's one of the older ones. The one with the four different books, and you play with her. And so you're oh. a character, and she's a character, and you each have special abilities. So depending on which one you are, it opens up different, different options. So you're reading the same thing, but because you have agility, there might be a number on top of the shelf because you're agile and you can read that. But she can't. She can speak it's to here, animals. It's in the kids' library. It's really good. Okay, that's really good. good. You yeah. need it. But you need four people, though, don't you? No, you can buy a lesson for. Yeah, mm. yeah. Also, two-handed. Look at this, though. The Look at the artwork on this one. That's awesome. That, really that looks so much really more good. interesting than Sherlock Holmes. Zone 25, again, has a different style. Oh, I like I that one. So different style. Oh. Yeah, these guys, I really like their Look stuff. at the zombie one. Look at this artwork. Ben, I just... Yeah. Uh, also, shout out to Van Ryder here. I think this is really cool that my little brother actually called me this morning because he was like, hey, do you oh, have an God. extra copy? Do you have a copy of 2070 sitting around that you don't, you don't have? Because I sent him the Crusoe crew. And I was like, no. He, I was like, also, what is that? And he said, he reminded me it was this. And he was like, oh, well, I started playing with some friends, but they just moved last week and I need to know how it finishes. So I was hoping you had a copy you'd send me. So, and he's, he's very board game hobby adjacent. Like he's played yeah. three or four games. So I think it's really cool that they're actually hitting an audience outside of our Absolutely. board oh. game hobby. I just want this on a it's tablet. Fantastic. I love them. I'm just tired of the Sherlock Holmes stuff. You hate oh, you know, Sherlock I like Holmes. On you. I just Think it's really it's cool. just basically put well, it out Well, actually, there. I would play the Sherlock Holmes Supernatural one because it's different, right? Could we possibly, when we're done with the <laughs> RPG we're doing now, could we do a Sherlock Holmes RPG next? That actually would be pretty fun. No. Act like we're in the holodeck, reasons. though. One, y'all ain't smart enough to solve a Sherlock Holmes mystery. Oh, I and am. Sherlock uh, Holmes would tell you himself. He would show up and he'd be like, y'all are morons. I don't know if you've <laughs> had Sherlock you Holmes. You guys just made it where Sherlock Holmes is coming into our five-coin realm. Just to tell us we're dumb. Four coins. Okay, I will Four say quarters. there might be twelve. Coins. The other thing about this know. is most of my comics. Multiple coins and corners. Most of my comics I now read on the iPad anyway or the tablet, so it would be nice to have that a tablet version of this. Well, that actually could yeah. that work? Would that work? Because you do need to kind of flip so. back and forth a lot. You could t either either have a PDF or touch the page number. And it would jump. just be hard I think, oh. to bounce back. I think, I think you, know? you would have to type it in because some of the numbers are like. Maybe hidden, and you gotta, oh, that says go that way. Good yeah, point. Man. But like yes, it. if they made an electronic version of this, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, I don't know. I, think I, I, like, like, it. I like the. the I'm gonna give Van a call. Book. All right, Super Boss Monsters back, baby. A million dollars. So, whenever you tell me, mind. whenever you tell me that our reviews destroy games, you can go watch my Super Boss Monster review, and it's not oh. positive, and this game's doing quite fine. I am going to admit something. That you I, like this game. Oh, I have got everything he for does. this game. And that includes the four player mat that should never, ever, ever, ever exist How or many be times used. You used it? I have never used it, but I own it. But 
and the game is not great. <laughs> but every expansion, Translation. I, <laughs> it's all I just wish it gets better. It does say, okay. First of all, this has a center market, which I think is better because, man, it's just it's all single player, multiplayer, solitaire type thing. I don't know. I it made me hopeful again after Overboss. I almost got rid of it. I will say I like this big box. The the big box Boss Monster has now is a cardboard lunchbox that is just atrocious. Mm. So you think it, oh, I don't know. I'm hopeful for this. <laughs> you just crapped on it for about two minutes. Free. I'm still buying it. That's the problem. Well, I that's a you problem. You're an idiot. Because yeah. also, oh, Sherlock Holmes okay. would not need to be Sherlock Holmes. Do you want that? Do you want that? Oh, that's a lot. Okay, I love this comment right here by Wolf Force. I was so pissed at this campaign. I spent five minutes on page trying to figure out it was co-op or versus. Joey, what did I ask you after about ten minutes of looking at this page? I finally took my headphones <laughs> off and I said, is this co-op or is this competitive? <laughs> no. I can't figure it out. So, Wolf Force, I feel you. I gave up. No, I know. All right, now, that to be fair, again, I might not be interested in this. 11,000 backers. This is a yeah. very popular nice. game. It is the definitive game if you say, hey, what's a 8-bit game that people play, it's Boss Monster. Boss it's not Monster. the best 8-bit board game out there. What's the far. best 8-bit board game? Pixel Lincoln. No, that's not true either. But there's, there's no one that Michael has I've never played. The Wizard one or whatever. I forgot. The Wizard The Wizard one. always wins? Like, yeah, he had, we had one that the he swears by. The probably still the one from level 99 from years and one? years ago. Overboss is good, though. I love Overboss. Yeah, and I, look, Brother Wise does a great job putting out stuff. I like their stuff. So, again, have fun with this one. I will. Super Club Rivals, the football manager board game. Take that, Portal. Um, cause that's I was literally... very confused by this video because they were like, yeah. this is based on another game just called Super Club something. And why are they playing soccer that, and about football? This is like the sort of mass market edition of it. The guy in the video basically says their previous game, like the industry has by and large decreed that Football, soccer, football in a board game is impossible to replicate. It's impossible. It is like as unfilmable as Dune was a couple years ago, right? But they figured it out. And their previous <laughs> game... The game Did he compare this game to Dune? No, he didn't. But he basically said, like, the industry thought it impossible to make a football game. Well, we did that. And it's played by, I kid you not, I think he says tens of millions of people? I mean, in the video, they say this, the previous game to this. Well, now they're back with a mass market edition. I'm like, hold up. You're saying tens of millions of people is not mass market? How many people do you think are going to play this one? Who are you appealing to here? You've got, you've got the audience, man. So I was very confused by these outlandish claims. Yeah. I like the card design. So do tens of millions of people. <laughs> Unreliable wizards, by the way, people mention that's one of the Mike likes. That's an eight-bit type. Unreliable thing. wizards, is right? Don't know. Mm. Yeah, this one. Oh, man, this looks cute, but I don't think you can make a game about soccer. I don't think it's possible. It's, possible. So. Mm. it's hard for sure. But about being a football manager, I mean, that Portal just did it. Yeah. It wasn't great, unfortunately. The basket. Um, Y'all play one, right? Basket. Ball or whatever. Basketball boss. boss. Basketball. That's, that's an auction game. Right? That happens to have a basketball theme. Yeah, it's about right. basketball, though. This is football. I, but as far as team creation, I think that you could do, but yeah. You can do that. Air and Armor. Mm. This is, it brings back one of the highest rated war games on Modern Warfare ever published. Now, this one wow. says, that's when you look bold. at the little, do you know how they give you, like, how many people? Is this soloable? It says, for complexity, it says high. And I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay, they're admitting this one's difficult. Over the yeah. time, you know what that means. Does the time not scare you? Yeah, three to twelve hours. <laughs> I also like how it starts. <laughs> twelve hour plus It starts out players two to seven. Solitaire, hi. I'm like, I'm waiting a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super confused. Couldn't you just put one to seven at the beginning? <laughs> yeah, this is wild, man. Complexity's high, and up to twelve hours. Oh. Yeah, this is like if GMT puts high on their scale. You're like, everyone back out there slowly. You yeah, should be scared. You start over that wedding. Box with a, <laughs> get it with a box. Calling the bomb squad. <sighs> uh, if you love this game and it compass, 
again, there's people, 185 is not mm -hmm. a lot of them, but mm -hmm. you got it. That's yeah, good. They have their audience for sure. <laughs> Cascadia, now here's one that's <sighs> rolling off the chart here. Roll. <laughs> Cascadia, roll and write. Of course, this company, Flat Out Games, always. So Flat Out Games kickstarts it, then AEG distributes it later on. And so they have the game here. Is this, are these like two, are they compatible? Or are they, they just two are. different games? They're two, they're the same game, two different um, like animals and, and stuff like that. But then if you combine them, you can, there's special cards and like some crossover stuff you can do it. So it can play up to eight people then. And there's some crossover modules yep. that tie them together. I wonder so if they're separate, the same standalone. Box. I know that was my thing. I was like, oh, but I don't want two boxes. <laughs> like yeah. I want one box for this. So I think I'm sure you could squeeze them into one box. I bet you could. Yeah. Has Cascadia Which box fell you off take? you guys? Or you still? I take the pretty it? one. Which one? Of the pretty. There's the pretty one, and yeah, the other one? one's not pretty. All right, all right, here we go. Tell me. Which one's pretty? Let's see. Hang on, let's look at them. <clears throat> there they are. Oof! I like them both. See, so I, I don't know what you're no saying. I see no difference in either one. Well, <laughs> one is a bear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see the bear now. Which one's the pretty one? <laughs> oh, yeah, so it's not so I obvious, huh? Know. I assume the blue one's a pretty one. I like the other one better, I think. The, the bear and wasteland? Let's take them without no, background they, stuff. There we go. That one, the fox, is as prettier, I think. They There's, both look nice. They're both they're both good. Is this Beth Sobel's art? Yeah, I yeah, think so. I like the other one yeah. because it's a little less blue. Like the, the cascade, the rolling river is... is there's a lot of blue there. That maybe. bear one, though, See, looks I like... I like the green, and I think it balances that the... That beef jerky like commercial brown. where the guy attacks the bear. That's all I see of that. Anyway, Joey asked if you guys have cooled on Cascadia, if you still like it. No, I really like Cascadia. Oh, Do you yeah. still? Yeah. Okay. I'm fine with it. I'm the only one that gets us cooled on it. Yeah. This looks okay. I'm kind of rolled... In, I mean, a roll and write game of another game doesn't excite me as much, but hey, maybe it's good. Yeah, yeah I, I think I'm with you. It's got a print like play, just the, I think... Mechanically, and that's what I liked, Two was bucks. how the cards, um, as they're filled, you know, they're going to shift down, but then the bonuses at top don't. So again, it's like, I can fill that card. Do I want to now or do I want to wait for someone else to fill it? And then it's go move down, so then I have the bonus lined up. You know, I thought that that was going to bring a little bit of um, strategery to it. Strategery. You could buy one pack of Star Wars Unlimited. Oh, my gosh. Every time you back a print and play, and you would have product that you would actually use. That is true, but you I can't print that those Star cards Wars anymore. Unlimited? Huh? Said so you would use that much Star Wars Unlimited? Probably. That would be too much for a human. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you would do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Craft Wagon, Edge of Engineering, and Dragon's Gold. Now, these are re this is a weird, really weird combo here. God, these two it. games almost could not be more different. I like Dragon's Gold. I love Dragon's Gold. Craft Wagon is a game I look at with binoculars. That is the best name, though. Move it, Craft Wagon. That is just Wait, crazy. what? I don't know. Those are such a fun Craft word. Wagon's a, a heavier Euro-style game from Matthias Kramer. A lot of people like it. It didn't look great. This one, new one looks better. And then we have the Dragon game, where we get down to that and just how to play. I like that Dragon blah, blah, game. Blah. And also, by the way, nice. Thank you for showing us how to play the game, step by step. They don't have any minis to show, but... Then the Dragon's Gold is essentially a negotiation game mm -hmm. where you kill a dragon and then you have to split the treasure right then, right In there. No future seconds. promises, no past promises. And if one person doesn't terrible. agree, nobody gets anything. It's pretty, it's interesting. He's like, listen, if you no. take this, you, you, you would be no. like, this is easily bottom five games for you. I, I sounded like <laughs> it, yeah. I really like it because you I have to sit there too. and then one person goes, no. <laughs> yes, and then you, lo you lose everything. Yeah. I don't believe Jason has ever won this game. Whoa. So I feel that that's a good thing. Um, because he doesn't know what to do if someone doesn't this make a deal with him. Right? That's true. <laughs> He's just... Yeah. This is a nice version of it. This is a very interesting, like you said, uh, Great project here. That. It's from a company in Spain, I think, and I guess they're just printing these two games. They got their rights, and they're like, eh, we'll do them together. Hmm. It's, a, it's a weird one. And you can buy one or the other, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 you can. What is the cake for? The cake? And why is this Goblin's Band? Is one of them wearing a clown mask? We don't ask those kind of questions. Hmm. Yes. 
That's Whoa. a clown. <laughs> okay, back out. We oh, made an enormous mistake. Oh, look at the second one. Oh. He's an angry little goblin. Where He's is adorable. He? Oh, yeah. It's almost a bad day. You I love that goblin. I like the art for this. It's, it's almost too ornate. It is. The other one is more cartoony. Yeah, previous editions of this have definitely been more cartoony, a little yeah. more lighthearted. This might be too serious looking for the I kind agree. of game for the it game is. It, yeah. Oh, have you played the game too? Yeah. Oh, okay. He loves it. No, I'm the dragon one, clearly. not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I really like the game. And there's even a cheating card in the game, which is great. I like this more than most. Uh, says, you said cheating? Like, you get a card and it says you can steal gems as long as no one catches you. I didn't think I could hate this game more. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like playing the cheat in the Trogdor game. That's why I refuse to play that game with my son anymore. It's in the library, too, right? Oh, I All hate right. that so much. Ultimate Game Night <laughs> Bag. <laughs> so these are the people who made 10,000 crokinole bags. And so now they're bringing back the only game bag you'll need for game night. So this is May Day. May Day has... <laughs> I didn't know they were in the bag business, but they are. They were making crokinole boards, some games. Their boards are good, they too. They make board games, they make sleeves. Yeah, they make a lot of stuff. And I actually this. I actually do use Mayday bags for my crokinole. Do you? Yeah. Stuff. yeah. Okay. Uh, mostly because mm -hmm. not a lot of options out there for crokinole. No, that's true. Yeah. No, but and they make nice. good stuff. They make good stuff. You mine at Ross. Nice. These bags, yeah, these are crazy looking bags. They have a lot of I don't, compartments. I, I don't like them. I, I got sad because I saw the guy rolling out. I'm like, oh, it's got wheels. And it took me a while to realize they, they're like, you can put it on a cart. I'm like. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, I thought it had wheels. It doesn't. It does not. Oh. That made me very sad. Confusing. Now, like, to be fair, again, saying this with the knowledge that our show is sponsored by Allplay, but I am really happy with the Allplay bags. Yeah. Yes. And so I compare this to them. This has too much stuff, you I know? Don't, I don't like all the extra compartments. I do The two things I do like is I do like the little compartment at top, so you can either I put like your little games too. or, hey, I know I'm playing this, put it down, and then I like vertical bags like this. I do prefer the vertical over the long horizontal ones. Um, that's because I store my games horizontally, and so I want to be able to open and see them all instead of having them on their side in the bag. So I prefer the taller bags like this with a side that folds open, and that top, is. It, I think that's pretty innovative. We always say, there's so many bag options out there, what does this one bring? I think that's what it brings, is that top little section where you put all your little games that aren't going to fall over off the stack and then open <coughs> up and pieces go everywhere, or that one game you know you're going to play, something like that. I thought that was really unique. It's funny, I just switched to the, because I used to do the vertical ones too, but now I just switch to longer ones because it seems like every game I grab does not fit in that other one. Oh, if it's not a square box? Right. And I'm like, so like the longer ones, Fortune of Glory, whatever, it, they'd fill it, fit in the larger ones. Okay, I guess I, those a lot of times have inserts I just put on their side. Also, I, I tend like to throw the long ones in a car, and if I do the other one, it falls over. The long ones don't because they're already on their side. Oh, I've yeah. not had that problem. I just put them behind the seat between the, you know, on the floorboard behind the driver's seat. Anyway, it's a bag, though, so, I mean, actually, we should look at pricing of it, because that's going to matter, too. Yeah, that's pricing. Oh, what is that? I can't see. It's coming. 99 bucks. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. uh, What's that's, all play? They're, like, 45? They're, they're less. They're definitely yeah, less. Yeah, that's, like that. that's fully out on that. Yeah, no, that's a lot. I no. will say the one thing I like, uh, these that stands out to me, they look like very nice bags, but I will say that compartment at the top is also my takeaway. I'm like, ooh, yeah. I like that. Really the, cool. The forklift picture is fantastic on here, by the way. Do you see that one? There's yes. a forklift picture? Yeah. yeah I they're just like want one testing of, stress points or I just something. want one of these oh. also that has removable straps because I'm never going to wear it as a backpack. Ever, even the all play ones and then they just fall down right. and I trip over them if they would make removable straps that I can take and burn I'd probably buy it you know I thought that Everybody and then I find myself every once in a while <laughs> throwing a strap over my shoulder I, no, I don't mind like a long strap and they'll do that like a clip on one but like the backpack straps and then they have the extra little things that hang down so you can change the sizes and I'm like nah I'll go farther than that I don't, want, I don't want to wear it necessarily as a backpack and I don't want you to wear it oh, as a backpack no. either. I will show Especially at a convention. Oh my Boo goodness. To you. <sighs> and you have a stroller. Yeah. <laughs> Which is full of games. Which is, yeah, yeah, you, you got the kids slugging in the bag. And they're peeking out of the bag in the back. No, they got a child on one of those little uh, leashes, you know? No, the child can walk himself. <laughs> All right. Games get to roll. Tokyo series. What's um, happening? This is Tokyo <laughs> Capsule Hotel. This is from this little Tokyo series, which yeah. I got one of and Did you? only played a couple of the games in it. They shoved like a whole pile of games into one box. And this is more stuff. There's like wooden pieces and fish heads. Um, I keep seeing the time. ads for this on BGG with them freaky fish. 
Yeah. And I'm like, oh. So I'm not loving their ad campaign. I will say I went down a rabbit hole of what a capsule hotel is. Oh, it's interesting. <laughs> would, you, would you stay at one? I don't think Wait, so. What is it? Wait, what is it? A capsule hotel is a hotel in which they give you a basically a tube with a bed for you to sleep in. That's your room. Yeah. Oh, an MRI machine. Basically. Nah. They're, 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 they're very they're expensive compared to They're wild. No. They are wild. Japanese hostels? I've never seen that. But it's, yeah, you got like a little tube, a little area with a bed. And like a cover. Like you sleep in a cat. Oh, lock the cover in? too? I don't think they'll lock you in, but it's not open. You know what I mean? It does close. It has a little door that oh, closes. Oh, I just envisioned like big PVC pipes or something that you're like. It's a little weird looking. Oh, it, it definitely looks like uh, cryo sleeping chambers yeah. in sci fi movies. Why? No. I went and Googled it and it's very weird. I'm having a panic attack just talking right, about it. Right, I'm talking to me a favor. I'm, I'm, Google I'm this real you. quick. <laughs> I'm here. You capsule hotel. What? Okay, risky click of the day is coming by right now. I'm stoked though. Here we go. Safe search on. They're bigger than you think. They I mean, are they're bigger not, than I thought. All right. That, All that right. one's that one. No, that's huge. That's not. You're talking about this one. The thing is, they're not that much cheaper. Yeah, look at that. Than a regular hotel. Really, they're not. My problem is you got to get up and go to the bathroom and. And everybody knows how many times you went to the bathroom because they all see because it looks like it has clear doors. Nah, not today, Satan. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. No, not for me. Here's Anyways. my thing about the game play, and I might be wrong on this, and I, again, I played a couple of the games from the last Tokyo series, <laughs> and I didn't think <laughs> they were gone. great, but this series epitomizes for me the very definition of I have a game, it's cool, you don't get it, you're not cool enough. It really feels right. that way, those mm. other ones. They, they had a cool little soda machine. It's like, wow, what does this do? And some of the games are really dumb and dorky, and people are like, oh. And yet, I never see anyone play in these games. Mm. I, I, and the, and the, <clears throat> he got one of his games, one of the games from the series got remade into a bigger one. We actually have it in the library, the one where you push the stacks of skyscraper pieces towards the other people. I forget the name of it yes. now. It's... Sometimes I feel like it's a flex to where it's like, my game is so good, I don't need artwork. And it's <laughs> like, all right, but why not try it? You know? <laughs> well, they have stuff it's here, like, but it's just, it's kind of like, I don't know, it just, they almost barely talk about the games. Just kind of like, ooh, yeah, oh. There's, I don't know. Maybe you all like it. I'm still thinking about the capsules. I it's can't get weird. Yeah. weird. It's I'm, weird. I can't. I'm out. Yeah. Oh. No, I think that's. I don't know. I, I would definitely try it, but I feel like I might not last the whole night. I would want nobody around because I'm afraid I'm going to shut that door in them in there. Again, I've, maybe I've had too many MRIs, but I don't care how big it is. I'm good. Oh. No, I'm. I'm done with being. You can get the option where it does go. Doom. 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 Fox Experiment Deluxe nah. Wooden Edition. So apparently, not everyone liked the beautiful, amazing plastic edition. I think I think the current Fox Experiment looks fire. Okay, I think so it's great. Okay, so you know that because that's my question. Like, why? Just why? Why is this a thing now? Like, who's calling for a wooden edition? Was that something I didn't hear about or know about? <sighs> Some people did. I'm actually curious. These wooden dice look way better than I thought they were. They that's a rendering. Wood, rendering. You see, they're shiny. They like, look plastic in that picture. Like, they look like plastic dice. Yeah. With wood marbling. No, I get it. Some people don't like plastic, so they, they maybe they're worried about microplastics and whatever. But man, I'll tell you what, this game is phenomenal. Maybe you should just back it. Here's the thing. Version. If I if they had had this in the original campaign, I could have chosen wooden or plastic. Yeah. I would have gotten wooden. Really? Yes, and I would have just used the original dice. I like the wooden components. I think it fits like more in the natural theme and stuff. But I'm not going to upgrade my plastic to the wooden for an additional, what was it, $60 or something? Maybe it's only $35. $35. $35. Like, I mean, no. You're not, the, to be fair, you, if you have a deluxe one already, the first wave, which was plastic, you're not the target audience. I'm not, but I mean, that's, it's just funny, that's actually an option there. Like, ooh, I got that plastic one. Oh, you know, now I can get wooden. Yeah, like, that's because uh, somebody what? would complain. That's the only reason that that's there, I, I assume. Guess, but, yeah, but 180 people did it, Z. Well, there's a, uh, you know, <laughs> born every day. So I don't know, it's just like every village. <laughs> I am curious. This isn't doing. This is doing fine, but it's not doing amazing. And I think part of the fact is you can just go buy Fox Experiment right now. Right. 
Yeah. Now, does this add an expansion that is no. not? Nope. And I and no I actually content. I actually am pleased about that. Yeah, right. yeah I applaud I mean, them for not being like. And here's one extra thing. The thing is, an it also card, just yeah, confuses it. I mean, what if you have? What if you have the Kickstarter edition of the first one with the plastic upgrades and you want the five to six player expansion, but now the five to six player expansion, you can only get wooden, you can't also get plastic. So do you also have to get the upgrade to take your base Kickstarter one that's plastic, hmm. two woods that you're, you know, it's just kind of like, it just makes it messy, like so hot on the heels of the other one to have a another edition. I agree, but I'm just also, if you're playing this five to six player, stop. Actually, it's not, it wouldn't be that bad, five to six. No, um, I have a friend who plays it, yeah. and they have five in the family, and, and they're like, okay, it's a family night. It's their son's like favorite game, and they play it huh. you know, pretty regularly, and so I think it's in a family setting, something like that. I think there's groups for it. This is a great game, despite it is. Mike Delizio's quote on the front page with the yeah, old, old Dice Tower logo. logo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's Mike Delizio's version of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyhow. Uh, I, so if, if you haven't got the game, you can get this. But again, I don't know that you need to back this because you could just go buy the game. Unless you want an upgraded. Uh, you can go buy it, but you're going to go buy it and you're going to get the cardboard version. So if you oh, want that's true. one. So, so if you do. So I, no, I definitely think that for new people getting into this, absolutely. The game is fantastic. It was one of my top of the year and it'll probably end up in my top 100. But um, I think it is a fantastic game. I'm just kind of confused on the two being not really compatible. Like the, the Kickstarter edition from the last one, which was not that long ago, you know, delivered within the last, what, year? Six months? I guess for me it's more I hope this doesn't become a trend. Yeah. Which is like, yeah. game, deluxe, plastic everything, oh. deluxe wooden everything, deluxe Rewood every and like yeah. don't yeah. then you know don't th let this become a thing. You want to make the game wooden bits uh, be the fancy ones, cool, but then don't double dip and do plastic also. Yeah, you did plastic the first time, right. cool. Or do just an upgrade kit if you want it or something like that for those couple of people out there. You know, I don't, I don't know. know. Is this are they doing the play mats now that I think about it? Are they on there? I wonder if this is a reprint for the play mats because they were misprinted. No. Also, See, I don't think you need a play mat for this game. Oh, no, I don't think so either. I just remember if that was kind of that's kind of what their thinking was is they had to do a print run for that anyway. Anyway, I don't know. Yeah, great game, fantastic. If you're jumping into it, super excited. But I don't understand this edition. All right, 18 ESP N. This is um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, another 18 XX game, except. Calling them 18XX at this point when they're using three letters is starting to throw things off. But They've been doing that for a while. They have been. Yeah. You know what you want when you're coming to get this. This is another 18XX game. The page looks true to form. I'll, t I'll, I'll give them that. You know what you're getting and what the game will look like based on <laughs> this graphic design on the page. You know, it's like, yeah. this is what it is. It's 18XX. They look like this. Like you said, you know if you'll like it or not. And they do explain at the very top, they always have, I love 18xx games for that, where they have the little area, like a little write-up, a little part of the game that says, like, oh, you know 18xx? Here's what's different. Yeah. I like I'm like, that. great, because people who know 18xx don't want to have to sit through uh, the same rigmarole again. Also, what's if you're, different? If, if you're yeah. new to 18xx, you're not backing this project. Probably. Look at this. New to 18XX. They just have an 18XX for dummies. But that's it. Right. <laughs> the rest of it, they're like, okay, now for everyone who's actually everyone here to buy it. Yeah, and I correct. get that. That's there are three of you who want to know what 18XX is. <laughs> You've first. watched that, now you're a veteran. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you about <laughs> <Yeah>. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. You've been promoted. Oh. All right. Swipe. A card game that's like online dating, but worse. That definitely attracts me. Swipe right. Yeah, you this know This looks what? quite bad. It's just, it's basically uh, apples to apples, but you put together three cards and they make up a bad profile on a dating app and somebody, the leader for the round, the swiper, they pick their favorite and, you know, it's, it's apples to apples with the graphic design of uh, Cards Against Humanity, yeah, humanity. and they go through the trouble of listing two graphic designers in the credits. <laughs> what happened 
where people took that Cards Against Humanity motif with the small word at the top and assumed that that's how party games should be designed. What happened? I think it's money! I think Cards Against Humanity got big, and they know mass markets. But it's terrible are going to go design. with familiarity. I mean, if you are looking in the store, it's like, oh, is this, oh, like Cards Against Humanity. I love that. Oh, oh cool. Kids Against Maturity. Oh, yeah. Comfortable mm -hmm. is um, going to sell in mass market. And you get 700 fart jokes in one game. Yes, Innovative doesn't brutal. necessarily sell them there. This is exactly like every other game like that. It's like, oh, you know, Sign on Happiness Possibly or whatever. Works. Success. Which one's the funniest? I'm oh, judge on it. <sighs> Fled, a gripping game of Gutsy Escape, which just funded, mm -hmm. finally, and I'm actually surprised this one, well, I'm partially surprised it took so long to find, because Mark Swanson is best known for his last game, well, his only other game, which is Feudum. Feudum was a big, grandiose, huh. Euro-style game that was honestly too big, too grandiose. It was one of those independent things where the guy just did everything in one game. And it has its big fans, and... You know, that's about it. This one, I don't know if I've hated the look of a game so much in a long time. That cover <laughs> is so bad. And and the thing is, I feel bad because Mark Swanson, the guy who designed this, is so proud he got one of the biggest, Clemens Franz, one of the best, well, one of the most well-known artists. And Clem, Clemens Franz is good at drawing maps of boards. If you see yeah, his Agricola really, yeah. and all that stuff, he does a great job. He's not as good with people, but you know what he's really not good with? Action shots. <laughs> That's, ah. Oh. I'm very confounded by the what the guy on the cover is wearing a little bit. It looks a little just, anachronistic. Youth this is supposed life. to be like, it doesn't quite, he doesn't look. <laughs> You're right. What'd you say? He's a youth, youth pastor. Youth pastor like. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like a modern outfit a little bit. I don't know what it is. I look at the cover and it always looks modern, and then I'm like, oh, wait, that's not what the setting is. I don't know. Now, okay, so the game itself is another, you know, escape out of prison type games yes. and everything. It looks fine. I'd play it. It looks interesting. I mean, there's three things you can do pretty much. You just, yeah. I think you do all three, don't you? Yeah, that's it. And it's. Play a card, play two more cards, fill, you fill your hand. But how to play that one little animated <laughs> gif, I was like, like one, play now a card, I know. Two, play another card, three, refill your hand. I'm like, oh. Okay. Doug, got it. <laughs> I wanted to scroll more. I'm like, no, I think that's it. That's <laughs> it. Okay. Like, so you would play huh. this, you're saying? I would, because it's simple. It couldn't take long. I don't know what the time is on it, but. That guy's also very well manicured for someone in prison. Look at this. his hair. It's like, he's like back. Mm -hmm. He's also got more teeth than he needs. running really fast. Yeah, maybe. Well, how do you explain He's the doing top button, then? too, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that one, I don't know. He's got maybe that. he just got thrown in. He had escaped. Like, it's day one. It's day yeah. one. He's, he's running. I don't know. I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this. Again, oh. a lot of it for me is just the, the art, I think, is really not great. But... I'd play it. I'm, I'm with Joey. I'd play it. I'm not one that I'm I can't stoked it. about it. I'm not, like, drawn in. But it's like, yeah, sure. You know, I'd, it's one I would sit down. And it looks like silly. It's time, too. I would say this is making a lot of money for the way it looks and how small of a game it seems to be. Right. On Kickstarter, that's impressive. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know what? It's very different than his last game, Feudum. Yeah, and it know, was a very big, is. grandiose that's crazy. game. So, all right. Oh, we're done. That's all the all games. Right, that's it. So let's jump to some non-game stuff, and then we'll give you our picks of the week. Here First, we go. another vacuum, another re robot mower, except this one. You control remote control, which actually makes me like it more on one hand because it's fun, okay, and less on the other hand because then I got to do the work. But I trust a Roomba more than that guy who's controlling this. I agree. Yes. Seen, he's just very. I. And the video is great, by the way. The guy, the way when he interacts with that with his neighbor. Yeah, it's like a neighbor who's suffering through all the. Has this ever happened to you? Kind of stuff. How about the part when he goes? We talk about how it's electric, and he's like, "That guy's a gas." He goes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's really, yeah. oh, it's... I mean, this is, a, I mean, this is fun to do, I don't know. The room but do you think you do a good job at it? I, saying, no. I don't know. The room no. is going to go straight. This, if you have the controller, I can yeah. see like going, oh, 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 you know, you're going to get those crooked lines and stuff. I don't Dude. know. This is not available then in Tennessee. Then again, if it would make my son mow the lawn, I'd do Yeah, guess. but would you, you would come out. Yeah, would you And there would be it. such a... Weird patterns. Oh, I know. It would not be properly done. Right. No, Dude, for sure. If you had your, your friends in Tennessee doing this, it would be crop circles, wouldn't it? <laughs> They'd be like, yeah. Yeah, that's I true. I know Kentucky, that's they would true. not allow... Mm. <laughs> is it cutting this stuff, though, as much as it's not just running it over? It's supposed to be cutting it, yeah. It's got I mean, the to be blades. fair, that's 
like uh, any law any lawnmower of that size. I mean, yeah, you shouldn't be using a lawnmower for that stuff anyway, right? It goes uphill. I wonder about down. That's what I'm worried about. Too. Off road oh. because it's also. My, I wonder how long the battery life is too. What's oh, it what's it pulling? Two point two five. It's hours. pulling. <gasps> oh. Golf cart. And there's a board game bag oh. in there too. Why is the door open? Close your door. Because he's because he's remote controlling it. That's how he gets to work. <laughs> 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 the big car is chasing the little car. Yeah. It's like the, the, the car in front of the donkey. <laughs> oh my gosh, half an acre per hour? I guess maybe for a mower, that's about right. I guess I'm trying to think. Okay, so is this cheaper <laughs> than a riding mower? Know, let's let's look. Look. And that was on a tractor. It so is not know. cheaper than a riding mower. It is all battery. 40% off. Yeah, I wouldn't think it'd be cheaper. I think it'd be. Oh my. Yeah, so this is just for someone who wants a toy. There's no way this is no, easier I mean, or better to use in a riding mower. And I can also see like like, uh, like like just people like can't mow their lawn, you know, like right. wheelchair, no. wheelchair can find things like that. I could see it being the best part very though useful. would be to have that and then be sitting there controlling it and then just have it go to your neighbor's yard and that's where it just opens and dumps and out like, the, like, the I grass. Can't, I can't. It, yeah, it, cool. it did. It did open up and like dump the clippings. Yeah, yes. it was interesting. But I think like, that's it, Camilla. If you were say you were a wheelchair bound. I don't think this would be good either because it gets stuck or something. <clears throat> you can't do anything about it. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's a nice little it's, turn. It's though, pricey, boys. You could probably it's get people very... to cut your grass for free, though. You'd be like, hey, kid, you want to run this? Wait, there's two of them? Does that's one true. come with the remote, one doesn't? I don't know. That's a good question, though. Would I want this or the Roomba? Which one would I oh, trust the Roomba. more? I think I'd trust the Roomba. I, I think would the trust Roomba. technology. You're talking about both, yeah. not the Roomba. When you say the Roomba, you mean the one we saw well, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, a few yeah. weeks ago. We saw one of these things oh, yeah. Yeah. that ran itself. It created yeah. it created a perimeter and mm -hmm. sort of ran itself. Yeah. I think that one seemed a little better to me. Oh, this one does have autopilot, though. Oh, see, I don't know. It might be back in. This one was is definitely more money than that one, I want to say. Yeah, I think so. Right? Do you yeah. have a back... Hey, Tom, how much do you pay the lawn mowing guys? Because we could put this in the backyard. 50 Set bucks a month, schedule. so let's multiply how that. How long would it take it to make it worth it? Years. Two minutes. I'll tell you why it wouldn't be worth it. Because, Weed eating. Because... because well, there is that. Oh, it's technology on Kickstarter. Do don't do it. Also, this would be fun once or twice, and then you would find it to be mundane. But what about, I agree. But what about the autopilot one? Then again, I can just go back to paying the guys. This would break. I'd have to buy parts, which would be almost impossible. I take this. Who's going to fix it? You're no fun. That's true, actually. How do you fix this yeah, if it true. breaks? It won't break. <laughs> <laughs> so you have had a roof up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. This Have you seen the movie where the woman pulls a her hair clip out and then kills 16 people? I love that it's TSA I friendly. It. And I look at them and I'm like, saw I that. Like four ways this is not TSA friendly. Ah. <laughs> well, because they would probably not notice it, maybe, I guess. I guess. It's like, you oh, hide it in your hair out. and then. Yeah. You wouldn't take an old man's staff, would do, you? Do, if you are wearing a metal clip, do you have to take it out when you go to the airport? I've not worn a metal clip since I was about two, so I don't know. How about those little, like, those, like, knives? Does anyone chat know? If you would wear, like, a metal clip in your hair, do you have to take it out at You don't TSA? have to take out a, a bobby pin. But a hair clip is bigger than that. Look at little metal that. toothpicks. You always see those, like, ninjas do and all that. Is this just me? I only watch those what movies. Ninjas? What are you talking you know about? You know what I'm talking you about. Know those, like, like, they look like always, chopsticks. Yeah, you always see those women yeah. assassins. They chopsticks sometimes. That they come out and then there's, like, oh, they have, like, size. They usually would, and that's the thing. Oh, so you could do one plane. All right. So, anyway, this is a clip uh, that can also be used to cut. cut. your lawn? What's he doing? Oh, it's They're cutting a, piece, a string. And one person's taped to, a, to like, a... It's very ridiculous, Pole. like the things they're doing. They're like, you can, you can cut through a, a whimsy, a, a wispy little what? string. You can cut through a, a thin zip tie. You I mean, can like open oh, a I do box. Like that. I'm like, <laughs> come I on. Like that. This is I don't know. Yeah, like this is stretching you, the, yeah. the definition of a multi tool. Yeah. This is the thing that this is this is something I'd be like, oh cool, I'll keep it in my car. No, I'll just get a multi tool. Yeah, you know, like it's like the wearable part, the maybe one? for camping because it's then right there all the time. But again, why not just have a multi tool? Well, I don't know. But what if you get delivered a box on a plane? <sighs> yeah. How are you gonna open it? Concerns. <laughs> Concerns. This is for you. I <laughs> okay. Oh, anyhow, the raptor claw. I love how, how what a big deal that this sounds is. Like. I'm sure this is actually a very useful thing. This is a very useful thing. All right, because yes. I know the ropes are good. It's just amusing to watch. It's no. not a looker. 
<laughs> it's not one? a looker, okay? I, look, I saw it and I was like, oh, this is cool. I don't need to watch it. So you I could also add. <laughs> oh, you gotta check this guy going to town. You <laughs> dun, 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 dun. If you put it to sound, it's better. Dun, 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 dun. George, George, George of the jungle. Dun, 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 dun. No, I get it, and I know what it's doing, Camilla, and it's, yeah. it's interesting. Uh, this it's up there with the shake weight. <laughs> yeah, you could add this to the shake weight and the thigh master. You get all three. If you want to. And you, then you get ripped. No, this is like it. <laughs> also, you could drum after you're done with this. You really could. This is actually legit, though. I mean, I could see, I know, like, in the military, when they deploy and that kind of stuff, like having access to stuff. Um, like oh, this, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not knocking this at all. Cool. Other than just it looks funny. If you saw someone doing this, it looks a little funny. That's I would have, You definitely only do this in your hotel room by yourself. Yeah, no, I would have to bring not. my ropes over here every yeah, time then, I come over here now. You don't put this in your luggage if you're traveling either, because they'll be like, what is this? <laughs> You could. Then you're like, ah, is it TSA There's friendly? Training equipment. Yeah, I do need to know if it's TSA friendly. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah. Stay up. So you need to get back in your seat. You look like a off. door because it <laughs> looks. my hair. I can't. <laughs> 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 it looks <laughs> real dorky. I'm sure they're great. They look good, but. Boy, it is a dorky, dorky looking piece of equipment. A lot of a lot of exercise stuff looks dorky when you're yeah. using it though, so there's Outside that too. Of context for sure. For sure. Oh my goodness. All right. Busy mm -hmm. tag. I'm not as dorky as this. <laughs> I this love is this. Worthless. Is this funding, by the way? Is it not yet? Not quite. Okay. Six days. It could oh. happen. Oh, oh my I'm goodness. For this it. looks so lame. It's basically a watch from ten years ago. <laughs> okay. Because the, the screen resolution looks terrible. <laughs> and you, it's, I mean, and what? they're recycling it, and it basically puts memes on there. Or you can change the little light that goes on the outside to be red and say, don't bother me, or like green and let's talk. This is for like that school counselor who's trying to be cool. Yeah. Yes. Or, you know or what something I mean? that like a library. I hate Mondays. <laughs> Or like a thing like a library implements, or not a library specifically, yes. but it's like that one place because if everybody is not invested in this, then it's gonna be like, oh, hey, what's this light? That, hey, what is this? I've never seen that. You're like, yeah, it says busy. You're like, right, but what is it? You're like, okay, well, then it's useless. But you know what you will know? also happen is you'll turn that busy thing on, and you then forget you'll forget it. And yeah. then you'll talk to somebody else, and after three days, they're gonna go, that light means nothing. Yeah. Because you have to be conscious about yeah, it. Yeah. And we know this because when our first studio, we put up an on-air light over the studio, so we would know, and people would turn it on, so we'd know we're recording, <laughs> and then it never got turned off, you know? So I was huh. like, well, are people on air or not? I don't know. Yeah, this is... Also, this is such a passive-aggressive, jerky thing. Busy. You can't even look at it. You look at it. You gonna tell you, you say something? Busy. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I would get this. And I would get that one sign that we covered that was went on the back of the car you and said that, sorry. Though. You like that? Oh, yes. And I would just like have the busy thing, and if anybody looked at me, I press the sorry button. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, like, busy, sorry. But could you imagine if, if it shows that you're like available, the green? They're walking to your office, and, and then you just hit the one. I want to get one of these from my pocket. I wear it on the plane. Wait, just the stewardess comes up. You're like. You just, make, you just make it say like Coke or tea. Yes, <laughs> that would be great. You have to wake you up. That's oh. pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, this I next like one it. was not in the thing I sent you guys because I just got it. It's Buzzy, Buzzy go. go, the humane fly detector. Oh, I read that wrong. The human fly deterrent. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this what is just is a way this? to what put it? light. It's a light disruption to keep flies out of your home. What? No, they're already in. Does this your work home. though? I've heard get... people doing that. That doesn't make Is sense. Is it like a signal, like flies this way, get out this way? I don't understand. I was like, when you have your windows open. So... <sighs> also, I want to be really clear that I think we can argue over Jaws how you should feel about humans and cats and dogs and stuff. I never in my life am going to sit around worrying about being humane to flies. They should oh. be killed on sight always. Mm. They're. No, yeah. there's a gazillion of them. You're about to get a strongly worded email from PETA. <laughs> I don't care. Even PETA doesn't care about flies. <laughs> I'm like, they're probably like, That's no, I okay. have the salt gun for flies, and it works. You do have the salt gun for flies. It works well. It does work well. 
I need huh. one of them salt uh -huh. cooked. It's amazing. Uh -huh. I need to try that. Someone will say there's a fly in the house, and I might be lazy on a couch, and I'd be like, You turn off your I busy button. You turn off busy to hunting fly, bright <laughs> green. <laughs> so what is this? I still don't understand it. It, it, so it it's just, just a device with it looks like it just disperses the light, you know. Which, have you seen then, the jars people hang? They say they keep mosquitoes away or something. And again, I wonder if it ha if it does have something to do with like that yeah, light is know. uncomfortable for them. That's I don't know. The like Jeff Goldblum. Well, well, that, that, that's that's supposed it. to like scare flies away fly. because they're uncomfortable by the light. That's what. But see those jars, people swear by they them. They do. They really do. I'm that, so confused, something that, you guys. Know, but, yeah, it's just I don't know. I would be like here in Florida. There are seasons, and it's like usually fall, where it's very fly heavy outside. Yeah. And it don't matter what you do, they're getting in the house, and then you just gotta kill them. Maybe this works. I doubt it. I have such, I've used so many things to keep bugs away. I remember, I don't know if you remember, I bought that UV thing for the fruit flies. No. Really? If they flew through, they died or oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, like a little apple. Yeah, those yeah, things. Yeah, and it works. Put sugar water in there? It works. If you stick it in the middle of a swarm, it will kill some. But other yeah. than that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> he just throws this it in the This looks room. weird. I don't get it at all. I'm confused by this. You can ever use those little tennis racket looking things that are electric? You push the button? Yes. Oh, uh, I feel that, sometimes you really got to go to town with that I stuff. I feel though, bad, right? though, if it gets stuck in there and just, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just like, I don't know. But I yeah. love those things. You do? Okay, that's weird. All right. <laughs> and then finally, the, the banana too. shark pup. Do you want a Did banana shark this? No, I didn't plushie. have the funny ones. I didn't have time. This is a stuffy that looks like a banana. A stuffy? Why? Why does it look like a banana? No, like, why is this being made? <laughs> like, what is it? Why? Why is this not in Five Below right now? Because no one's thought of it before, okay? <laughs> They're combining two things. That haven't been combined before. Look, a banana, Nexus and bananas and a shark with some drawn faces on it. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's a banana shark, and he likes skateboarding, and he pulls off. I believe the video says sick tricks on a skateboard. This isn't like from a video game. This isn't a known thing. That's like no, no one's ever thought of this before. Okay, it combines <laughs> no, it bananas. Like reference anything? Oh wait, do we have no, stretch bananas goals? and sharks? No. Okay, I mean, goals. Pete Shirey needs it. And we know that much. Okay. We all know how he feels about bananas. <laughs> yes, it's sharks. It's actually three things. It's also a pup. Banana, and shark, pup. Plushy. I thought it was a shark pup. Oh, or is it a but shark But maybe pup? you're right. That's why right. Sharks don't have legs. But bananas do. <laughs> 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 all right, let's, let's jump to pick of the week. Mike's on vacation this week, so we're going to skip him. He'll, he'll pick that obscure Japanese one. That, yeah, that sure. would have been done. Nice okay, yeah. the All capsule Mary, hotel. Mike's pick. Who else has one they want to talk about? I'm gonna pick the Camelo <laughs> video game Armadillo. thing. Armadillo. Armor. Armello. Mm. Is this, this anyone one, else's? This is my favorite looking thing this week. I really like the world. Like the video game <sighs> setting looked interesting. Like I said, I haven't tried it, but I'm, I probably will. Um, and the gameplay for being a first time production based on a video game, which is a little sketchy still, it looked really well finalized. So, again, this is my. As far as like, I no, hope it's good. good this is not. my. I hope this is good. I'm one. very hopeful of this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anyone I'm else? gonna go with the graphic novels, the Van Ryder ones. Like I said, maybe Ooh. it's just. Apropos timing, like my brother Angel. calling me this morning, I hadn't looked at these or anything. I just kind of showed. I love seeing more of these coming out. Um, I think the breadth of these, of you know, hitting gamers and non-gamers, is, is really cool. So I'm excited for more of these. And I sent him as soon as this morning, or this early afternoon, when I was looking at this, I actually sent. It. I was like, "Hey, funny enough, they're doing another series," you know, and texted him this link. So I think this is really cool. And I will say, I jumped on the Sherlock Holmes stuff, but those three middle ones look. They do really look good. Really well, good. Funny enough, I'm actually excited about the Sherlock Holmes ones. I've not done one before, but like yeah, I, I, I really five want to try. Yeah, you get the try. Sherlock Holmes one. Yeah, I was that's... like, cool. That's a good. It's a good, easy way to jump in, because uh, it, it's going to be familiar. You know. All right. So mine is the before I say this is this is your last chance. I'm going to try you one more time. Oh. But this is it. This is it. Seriously, if it doesn't work out now, we have to go our separate ways. So we're going to go super boss monster. Wow. This is it. This is the moment. If you do not, if you break my heart again, I'm selling everything. Hang on, I gotta find your boss monster. I wasn't expecting anyone to pick that. <laughs> no, there we go. 
I'm telling you, I want this to work. If not, I'm going to just, it's, I'm going to burn it. And I'm going to buy a CCG, and we'll go fully into it. Which All right. Unlimited. Boss Monster Unlimited. You're so close to that. I'm so, so close, close to jumping in there. You are. All right. And then for me, uh. I'm going to pick the Craft Wagon, which was, Chris can have that half. I want the Dragon's Gold. Yes, it's ah, serious looking and stuff. Yeah. I just love Dragon's Gold. This is about the fifth printing of this game? Yeah, it's been printed a bunch. <laughs> it came out in a blue box from Descartes, then Stronghold did a version, and then yes. White Goblin did, or maybe that was the same version. White I, Goblin and the, and the, yeah, those are the same. White Goblin and I do like the gems Stronghold. in this one a lot. I like that they have symbols on them, which makes them easier to tell apart. So I don't know why. I'm Plus gonna... Camilla will love it. No, 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 no. Come I, on, you gotta play it one. No, you, you don't. You try don't. It. I don't I think really, anyone should have to play a game like that. You're gonna love it. Put the I played Zuvatis. She needs oh. to play this. They might have taken a cheating card out for all. I, I heard they made a whole cheating scenario. Oh, I want to cheat too. The thing about you the cheating card cheat. is, I always tell people before the game that it's in there and you that raises the level know, of the game. Yes. People are like <clears throat> watching everything no, everyone does. That raises the level of anger. Alrighty, well there you go, folks. That is another week of crowd surfing. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow morning with board game smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. And uh, that's that. We're playing a game tomorrow too, right? Live. We are playing a game live yeah. tomorrow. What time is that one? One or two. Something like one, that. One or two. It's one. 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 <clears throat> yes. So we'll see you then. Until then, I'm Tom Basil. It's me now? What it, is happening? We go this I'm way. Zika. Zika. See yeah. what I'm, I'm talking Kamala. about. I'm Joey Evans. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, shark banana pudding. <laughs> pudding.